It's Derby Day this Sunday as Forest travel up to Goodison Park for the PSR Derby. Welcome to the match preview with Mikey. Evening, everybody. Sorry we're later than planned, but you know, Mike, look at him. He had to get his makeup done. Uh, he had to get his sheep. What is that? Is that sheepskin? What you got going on there, Mike? Mate, I don't know what this is, man. It's just a onesie. I don't know. It's cold. It looks so warm. I mean, bearing in mind, it's like the 18th of April. It's about four degrees outside. I had to turn my heating on today. Begrudgingly, I cracked and turned it man. on. It's freaking freezing, man. It's freezing. Man. Man. Uh, you good, Burr? You good? I don't. I don't like football. Agreed. At all. Um, I don't. Do like you not football. like football, or do you not like Everton? Which one is um, it today? To be honest, mate, I actually, I actually don't like football. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't like Everton, but I also don't like football. Um, I think it was uh, obviously we're not talking about the Forest game here, but I think it was a bit of a joke about the. Uh, the FA Cup change with playoff uh, with the um, yeah, I think that's a joke for the smaller teams. I feel really sorry for the EFL clubs mm. and the uh, and the non-league teams. So yeah, I don't like football very much because again, corporate greed has taken over. You know, it was quite fitting that I think it was three years to the day that the Super League was announced, and then that happens. I just sat there and thought shambles. Um, and I don't like Everton for obvious reasons. We 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 are a bottomless pit of money. We are the equivalent of a cup with a hole in the bottom. Is why do I feel that this preview is going to be me convincing you that you're going to win, and you convincing me that we're going to win, mate? It's like it's, gonna, it's that Spider Man meme, and we're just going to point at each other. No, you'll win, man. I just uh, you know what? I don't even know how I feel about the looting game beforehand because they could push us. They could push ahead of both of us if they beat that scummy Brentford man. So I don't know if it's yeah. a good thing that they're playing before us or not. I guess it depends what the result is, but can't they just fuck off and get relegated already, man? I'm sick of this loot and love fest. And I know the loot and fans love you. So I'm pretty sure you're rooting for, uh, for Luton to go down as well, mate. But it's they're just scummy, man. I was there today, 6 a.m., dropping my parents off at the airport. Shithole. Shithole. <laughs> Do you know what? I um it's really difficult for me about Luton because I wanted them to do well at the start of the season. Like I was I was passionate about them doing okay. Mm. And then their fans came for me, and I just why, why, mate? Don't just, don't just make it sound like they just picked on you. Yeah? What did you predict in that match? What did you yeah, predict? Yeah. yeah, I said, I said that Everton would win six now. <laughs> <laughs> and he got clipped. He got clipped. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But you know what? Look, the, these things happen. Luton will be a championship club. We're sound. We, it, you know, we we keep talking, and you, I've seen the channel. You keep stressing about games you're not winning at home. I've seen you talking about the home forms not like it used to be. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And Everton are exactly the same. But the simple fact of the matter is, we will not go down. It's that simple. You beat, last year, you were saying Everton were definitely going to go down, and you didn't. So I, I would love to believe you, but I just, I don't know, man. But you are sounding quite calm about it. Yeah, the reason last season, though, was because the the two teams that finished 19th and 18th were better than Everton. Both Leicester and Leeds were definitely better than Everton last season. Definitely Forest as well. <laughs> <laughs> Luton. Um, look, they've beaten us twice at Goodison. They have. So, you know, people, Luton fans will definitely say, we are better than you. And I'll sit there and go, oh, fair enough. Based on current wins, you're right. But you're going to be playing championship football and we won't be. 
We'll walk into a lovely 52,000 seat stadium that we've we've absolutely killed ourselves to 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 make, and you will stay at Kenilworth Road, which needs fixing significantly. So we we keep smiling. Shit hole. Absolute shithole. Just very quickly, um, Mikey, let me just um, shout out some of these super chats. Jason with the 17 months, the legend Jason. Thank you so much. The beautiful Sharpie with the 20 months. Thank you so much. And another 20 monther in Simon Jones. You Reds, we need a big result on Sunday. We really do. And then Sharky with the two pounds as well. I hate Luton supporters trust with a passion. Have you seen that channel? What a bunch of cunts, man. I'm sorry to say the word, but who do they think they are, man? They got like three subscribers. They they support the crappiest team in the league. Well, apart from Sheffield. And they talk like they're Man City, man. Honestly, I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But let's bring it back to this, Mikey, right? We are crap at defending corners. Well, we are crap in general, right? But we're crap at corners and we're crap at dead balls. And you guys are crap at scoring, but you seem to score from set pieces. Dice ball. Mm. Does it give you any confidence? I mean, you were shite against Burnley. I think you were worse against Burnley than you were against Chelsea. I know the bar wasn't set high and you won that game, but you were really bad against Burnley, man. And they were at 10 men. Have you got any threat that we should worry about outside of dead balls? Or is that going to be Dice's plan? I don't think we've got any threat full stop. I mean, we haven't, I don't think we've scored a dead ball goal since, well, since before I was born, to be honest. I mean, this statistic <laughs> that Everton are the, I think it's the top, top Premier League scorers from dead ball situations. And I can't remember the last time we scored from a dead ball situation from like a corner or, I, I, mate, I just, um, I, I have very little confidence in Everton. And the other added, positive that you've got is we're actually better away from home we're yeah, awful yeah. we're awful at home awful so to be honest i have no confidence at all that we beat you um and i know you're going to ask the question in a bit about score prediction so i'm not going to give it but this game is going to be forest playing semi-attractive football and maybe scoring a goal. And right. it's going to be Everton playing horrendous football and maybe scoring a goal. Like that's it. That's that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's it's this is not a this is not a spectacle to sell the Premier League on. Um, they got it on Sky gonna... as well, haven't they? It's like what are you thinking? <laughs> I couldn't believe I could not believe it when they changed this fixture for Sky. And I thought there's not there's not even any jeopardy in this because I think we both already know the score in our head. I think one we all. already know. One all, mate. It's one, one all. all. Yeah, it's one, one all. all, isn't it? Were you thinking one all as well? <laughs> Let me do a little poll in the chat, chat. What are you saying? <laughs> Get your scores in, because I mean, it just stinks of a goddamn draw, man. <laughs> it really does. I'm telling you, I'm telling you now. And, and look, and if any team wins, you know, if it's you, if it's us, then they're staying up. It's that simple. But the fact it's going to be a draw, that is why neither of us are going to be in a good place after 90 minutes, because. No doubt Luton would have found a way to beat Brentford. And we're sitting there thinking, well, which one of us is going? And then it, mm. and then it goes down to the points appeal at the end of the season. And then yeah. you sit there and you think, what? So, so we've got another points appeal for two points. You've got this points appeal for four points. What are they really realistically going to do? We're going to end up, you're going to get half the points, so you'll get two points. Everton will get half the points and get one point. And we'll yeah. end up on the same amount of points. And we've, we're, I think there's only one goal in it on goal difference. It's the same. It's the same. Minus 16 apiece now. You sorted that out on Monday. It's a shambles, man. <laughs> it, it, don't it just think of the Premier League trying to keep us both within that relegation zone just so that Sky can have a bit more interest in the dogfight at the bottom? Because if you'd had your points, 
you'd be way clear. We'd be clear of relegation zone. And no one, you know, Luton are done. It's just sham freaking bollock, mate. It really is. I love it. I absolutely love it. And then on top of that, all of the decisions that neither of our teams yeah. have got this season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it... I mean, it's actually atrocious how bad this season has been for the Premier League, the FA, Financial Fair Play, Everton Football Club, Forest. It's just, it's been shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's 266 of you in here. I hope you're enjoying the depression provided by us too. Please don't forget to hit the like. And I'm sure you're all already subscribed, but Mikey's channel is pinned in the cut in the title. Sorry, all you gotta do is click that blue bit, hit subscribe, and you can just listen to him crying. Him and John are just a comedy act. I was doing the, the Everton, uh, sorry, the yeah, the Everton watch along the other day. I was at Luton, and uh, I started to uh, impersonate you. I was like, I was doing your whole act. I was like, every time you watch a Mikey video, it's like, I fucking hate football. It's all the hands up here. I fucking die. Fucking die. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> but, I, I've called this now for over 12 months. He, he, he drives me mad. Are you die shout? Can we get it official here? Are you die mate, shout? I, mate, I'm not just die shout. I'm driving from Birmingham to Liverpool to pick him up to drive him back to Nottingham and stick him in your whoa. director's box. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we don't want him. I know he's got a season ticket at Forest. I know he loves the city ground, yeah. But I would not take him. Chat, would anyone take Daesh at Forest? It's just his brand of football, man. I can't deal with that. I'm not on about him managing yet. Just just sit in the stand. <laughs> just, just, just open the door. Turn the lights off and just let him sit there from Monday to Friday. Just let him sit there on his own in the stadium. He probably would. He, he loves he going would. there so much. He would, wouldn't he? Yeah. He would. He'd practice, he'd practice shouting. He'd be like, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so who do you want instead? Who realistically was mate, on your shopping list? Or are you mate, just anyone would... but? So, so... I I'd be shocked if Daish is sat this season because of the mm. financial issue with me. Yeah. I'd be I'd be shocked if Daish is sat. Also, who would sack him? Because I don't know who's in charge of Everton anymore. But, but to be honest, man, I, I don't know either. So um <laughs> I mean I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um so no one's gonna sack him. So whoever the new owners are in the summer, get rid of Daish and bring in David Moyes, who's out of contract at West Ham. Having back. You do that. That'd be like what we did with Billy Davis, mate. You never go Bring back to Bring on ex. Billy Davis. Bring him in. <laughs> mate, seriously, you'd go back to your ex? Yeah. Really? Mate, so I'm saying, I, would, you, I, would you take Cooper? No. <laughs> no, after all that. <laughs> so no. no. Do you know what it was with Cooper? Is... Um, He, he's hit his level, yeah. And I'm agreed. not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying Everton are above his level by now, by the way. But we, we probably are his level. Yeah, a, a very, we will progress. Yeah. No, exactly. So I'm not saying we will progress massively anyway. But we need someone who can work on literally nothing. And we know David Moyes can do that. And actually, yeah. he turned Everton in the in the mid 2000s into a decent team. You got so, in Champions League qualifiers. I remember that you messed it up, but you know you got to those dizzy heights. Well, we lost to the we lost to the the semi finalists that year in Villarreal. Yeah. I could yeah. I could live with that. Yeah. Um, we were robbed as well. Um, of course, you know we played <laughs> we played in UEFA. Uh, UEFA, you know, we got to the last sixteen of the UEFA Cup as well. Lost to Florentina on penalties, and you know we we did all right, mate. It's just. Just bring him back, bring him back, and bring Ross Barkley back as well from Luton when they're relegated. Oh, that'd be a slap in Luton's face if you did that. that I'd really love would. it. I'd love it. And I tell you what, another one. If we sell Pickford, which wouldn't surprise me, go and get their goalkeeper as well, Kaminska. Go and get him as well. You take him. Yeah, up, mate. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Uh. 
you might as well just we might as well between our two clubs just destroy Luton once they're down, isn't it? Just pick off think... all their players, pick off their shit players as well, and then just loan them out to like Olympiacos and stuff. Just really like rip them open and it's, get them no, just, just, relegated. I don't, I don't care. I don't. I don't care what happens. To be honest, like, I just, I just Luton have um. They, they've, they've sort of pleaded this, like making people feel sorry for them this yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. And I can't, I can't. You, you're a Premier League football team. No, no one feels sorry for you. You've earned hundreds of millions of pounds to be yeah. in the Premier League. You know, I don't feel sorry for you at all. If you go down, okay, you go down. Um, I like the manager. I, I quite like that Rob Edwards. I think yeah. he always speaks him? well. Would uh, I him? would have Rob Edwards, yeah, okay. I would. Um, but you, again, you don't know his ceiling. It's a bit of a gamble, really, Rob Edwards. Um, but I just, I just don't think we need to be worried about it. And, and to be brutally honest, you know, as horrible as it is, Everton go into this game against Forest. We've we've come off the back of a six 0 defeat, which was an absolute kicking. Well, right? it was. I mean, it wasn't just a defeat. It was, it was Everton getting smashed up. Um, Are they down tools? Are they down tools with the manager? Well, that's the, that's my fear, to be honest, because mm, mm. it doesn't look good. Um, so yeah, my I. Uh, I don't know. I'm not expecting nothing out of this game. I'm expecting a point. Yeah. Um, let me just quickly catch up on the super chats, right? Crypto has got a pure agenda against Matt Turner. Thank you for the two pounds, Crypto. He wants to know, do you rate Matt Turner? Would you take him instead of Pickford? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> In a nutshell. <laughs> Tony, thank you for the 15 months, buddy. And Pete, thank you for the 20 months. My God, you guys are getting long in the tooth on this channel. All right, let me ask you a couple of questions, though, Mikey, right? Bramfway, is he injured or not? Have you heard anything? Because him and um, Calvert-Lewin are the dodgy ones from the Chelsea game. And obviously, he's a big player. We, mm -hmm. I rate him. You rate him, you know. Um, yeah. Is he fit? Have you heard anything on him at all? So we'll we'll find out tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. It's a press conference tomorrow. Um, I suspect he'll be out. Yeah. Uh, which means the glorious Michael Keane will come in to his place. Uh, the other one was Nathan Patterson, which means the seventy-six-year-old Ashley Young will probably start a right back. If it's but not shame, what, what is his obsession with Young? Has he got naked pictures of Daesh or something? He's been terrible for you this year, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I feel sorry for him. Yeah, you know, he's he's he's, he's, he's forced. He's he shouldn't be playing this this amount of games or minutes, but yet yeah, he is. Um, I think I think Dosh is just clueless. <laughs> I think he I think he's clueless. So I feel sorry for him. So he'll probably play. Um, the one that will be interesting to see is uh, Arnold Danjuma is is back. He was on the bench against Chelsea. So has he now, been I, injured or has he been yeah. just sidelined? Because I, yeah, I no, rate him. I rate yeah. him and he hasn't got any minutes for you guys. No. So before he was injured, um, Sean Dyche decided that he wouldn't play our best winger. He just wouldn't mm. bother. Mm. Um, decided he'd play Jack Harrison, who uh, is, is literally Shite. a League One version of of Dwight McNeil, who is a championship version of Arnold Danjuma. So um, it's, I'm not I'm not confident. Um he's not very good with decent players. Like we had mm. Damari Gray last season who is a decent footballer yeah. and yeah. he just as soon as Dyche come in he just stopped playing. He, he just went, nah mate, not not for you this. So um what about yeah, Two players. Well, there's a couple I want to ask you about. Um, mm. Anana. Mm. I don't know what he does. And I saw even Carrig the other day was saying does. And shout out to you. I remember you like a year ago saying you don't really fully rate him. And there's all this hype about him. And you would have taken the money. So I think, man, you were interested, weren't they? Mm. What is he? 
Is he an eight? Is he a six? Is he worth the money? He's a he's a glorified cheerleader. That's what he is. He uh, he 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 loves he loves getting his arms up and getting the fans shouting. He loves mm, it. But yeah. um, the issue I have with Anana is I don't actually think he knows what he is. Mm. Um, he his distribution is poor. He goes for the Hollywood Pass all the time. You know, like you'll see him, you'll see him do some really good work, and then you'll try and you'll see him try and play a forty-five little lofted ball in between three centre halves and a truck. He tries to to do that pass, which is never yeah. going to work. He always does that. So, yeah, I don't I don't rate him for that. Um, does he win the ball well? Yes. If he was playing with better players, does he look better? Yes. We saw that for Belgium. He looked a decent player for Belgium. The the problem with Anana is Everton. He doesn't fit at Everton. Yeah. He, he would fit a, a better team like a Spurs or a Villa or a West Ham or a, anyone probably above a Luton. <laughs> Everton. He'd probably then, do a good job for Luton. They just can't afford would. it. And then Decore, he's dry. He's still your top goal scorer this year, isn't he? Which is crazy. But he's really dried up. I mean, he kind of carried you on his back towards the end of last season. Is he still playing in that 10 role? Yeah, he he has. Uh, so he got injured uh, probably about 10 weeks ago now. And he came back and he has been... He, he's been awful. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like there used to be this thing. There was this this thing that went round. It was memes, and it was a it was a picture of that that Beetlejuice guy with his teeth out and his eyes sticking out. And then there yeah. was Decora, and people were either calling him calling him Decora or Decore, and he's he's currently Decore. It's not good. And then and then Calvert Lewin. He scores in two games running, so we think oh, we might we might have Lewin back, and then he gets injured which is absolute typical. So he doesn't score for 25 games, scores Impressive. in two games running, and then gets injured. I mean, you can't write that stuff. And then Beto looks like Bambi he, on ice. Oh, mate, he is a... Tra How did he miss that chance against Chelsea? Mate, that was harder to miss. 30 million pounds? <laughs> 30 million pounds? But again, you called him out after I think it was a cup game when you first saw him play, and you're like, Two yeah, games. Crap. yeah, you're like, Two crap. Games. I got, I got given a new asshole. Literally, the Everton <laughs> fans were like, we're not, we're not having this, we're not having this. I, I called out Jack Harrison, got absolutely decimated. Called out McNeil, Dosh, Beto, Anana. And my, I, I have been crucified more times than any any religious person's ever known. <laughs> oh, I got another question for you from Crypto. <laughs> Crypto in the four ninety nine, Mikey. Do you rate Ryan Yates? If you say the wrong answer, I'm turning the TV off, and you'll be dead to me. <laughs> well, let, well, let's be straight about Ryan Yates, right? Go on. He he's been a fantastic servant for Forest. Yes, Agreed. it's been great. Agreed. Agreed. But but we're now finding that there is some small limitations to his game in the Premier League, I would argue. Big limitations. Well, I was trying to be po politically correct so we didn't turn the telly off. But yeah, there's limitations to his no, game. No, no, he don't like him, mate. I can tell you. <laughs> he don't like him. <laughs> he, he, is, he is a bit like... It probably fit into the annoyance you guys that have got at Everton. You know, there's players who just... Are there, you know, they're just on the pitch. Sometimes you notice them, sometimes with him, you notice them because he's fouling everyone. And then I guess mm. the comparison really would be him versus Ghana because I've heard a lot of Everton fans who liked Ghana when he first started and have now gone off him in, in recent weeks. Is he or is he just fallen foul to this cesspit that's been dice ball and the crap going on at Everton? Or do you still think there's a player in him? Because I still kind of like him, but I'm nostalgic towards him. Obviously, thinking of him as a championship player. What I've seen in the Premier League, every now and again, he looks like he's putting a decent cross in. Still maybe missing some football IQ for me. But what was he been like for you? Because he's kind of quite regular at the moment. 
I mean, <laughs> and say what you think. Don't you hold back just because it's an X fart? It's only Aloni. It's only Aloni. Hey, hey, hey! He's the, he, do you know what? Like, we can talk about Anana and Brantwaite and all that. Yeah, he's the most difficult for me because there is a footballer in there. Mm. But have you ever heard the term a busy fool? Yes. He literally like loses his mind and goes into different areas of the pitch where he shouldn't be, <laughs> leaving space where he should be. And then he has to look like like Puss in Boots, the hero, you know, coming in with his sword and trying to save the day by putting in this last ditch tackle. Puss in and Boots, then he, what did you come up with Puss in Boots? <laughs> and, and then he, he wins the ball. He wins the ball and then he'll give it away. Or like he'll do something fantastic and win the corner, but then from the corner he won't beat the first man. It's yeah. just it's like you're constantly banging your head against the wall because you literally go in, that was good. Oh, that was shit. Oh, that was good. Oh, that's shit. And it drives me insane. <laughs> oh mate. But who's left that you like? I'm I'm trying to think here. I mean Bramfrey, yes. Tarkovsky, but he, do you like him? Do you know? Do you know what's worse? Do you know what's worse? Uh, worse about Bramfrey? Yeah. He's as a footballer, I do like him, but because I know that any decent player at Everton is just going to get sold, you yeah. don't you don't connect with him anymore. <laughs> no, but I, I remember. I remember the day that Mikel Arteta was sold to Arsenal. I was. I was far too old to cry, but I did cry. I was, did. Yeah. I was <laughs> devastated, mate. If Ransway and Anana get sold in the summer, I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. The whole football team is just shit. It's just shit. So I just don't like you could you could literally put you could put anyone. You could put anyone in an Everton shirt right now, and I literally wouldn't be bothered. Yeah. We've we've been having this comparison because obviously Carlo Ancelotti, Real mm. Madrid manager, mm. three years ago he's managing Everton. <laughs> it, he's managing Everton, who's got a team that consisted of James Rodriguez, who, by the way, was unbelievable what at the player. time. What a player! Yeah. And I now look and I go, I'm managed by Sean Dyche and my and my my dynamic, unbelievable footballer, the number 10. Well, we haven't got one. And the next comparable is Decore that doesn't know his head from his feet. So it's like, what's the point? Football, uh, football is not the game for us. No, it's too stressful, mate. It's too stressful. And then we get worked up. And the players don't care. And then we have to suffer it. And then we have to stress it. And then, I mean, the one good news I got for you is Liverpool are out. So they lost 1 0. Goodbye, Liverpool. Did they lose? Yeah. Oh, sorry, they won 1 0, but they're out. <clears throat> That's splendid news, that is. What about <laughs> West Ham? What West about West Ham? Ham? I, was, I was hoping Ch West Ham might give it a go. They went 1 0 up. I think they leveled it. Chat, what was the West Ham score? What was the West Ham score? I think it was 1 0. So they're out as well. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? They just yeah. won't lose, will they? That Leverkusen side. I know, side. man. I know. Well, they need to play you... Luton. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, so let, let, let me go. ask you a question about you, know, about you lot, because we're, we're talking very much about Everton. And look, I yeah. don't want to jump off a bridge tonight. I don't fancy that. Yeah. So We'll jump together, mate. We'll jump together. Let's talk about Morgan Gibbs White. Okay. What's going on? Because he's looking. He's he's from afar. He's looking more like the old Morgan Gibbs White, the, trying to take the game by the scuff of the neck. But yeah. you know, we're seeing Chris Chris Wood as well chipping in with the odd goal here and there as well. So what? Why aren't we winning games at Forest? What's going on? Corners, corners, bro. I'm telling you, we are so bad at defending dead balls. It's embarrassing, man. My under thirteens team defends corners better than Forest do. Like, we'll create chances. We'll fluff our lines. Morgan Gibbs White, I'd say he's probably had his best month in the last month. And he's been decent, like, before that. 
Mm. It's I don't know what the answer is, Mikey. That's what's driving me crazy. We shouldn't be where we are. We got a really good front four. I would say our front four is better than yours, with all due respect to Everton. And with no due respect. There's no disrespect taken there, my friend. None <laughs> I, know, of I know. And with no due respect to the likes of Luton and Sheffield, we're way better than them and some of the teams above us. And our defenders, we got Murillo, who's is our Bramthwaite, is quality. How, how much do you think, one, is he still going to be at Forest next season? No. And two, if not, how much is he going to cost for someone to buy him? I I'd, I'd think he will... I mean, I saw you lot was saying 93 mil yesterday for Bramfoy. I mean, that was... I saw that number. I was like, if he's 93 mil, Murillo's 100. I think he's better than Bramfoy. But bramfoy has got the homegrown tax, hasn't he? The English tax and everything. I, I would say Murillo would be 60 million. Realistically, 60 million. If if you've seen I, the likes I of... I think he's McGuire, an absolute baller rider. He's unbelievable. Player. Yeah, he's He's quality. So I don't want to lose him, but the talks is there'll be him and Morgan Gibbs White that are going in the summer. If even if we stay up. Um I, I don't know, man. I just for me, our problem is the six and the eight. He's playing the eights, and the eights is not a starter. Danilo's come into good form. He needs to play Dominguez. It's a simple switch. Dominguez for Yates, and we have balance. We have balance in the force, man. And he just won't do it. And from corners, they're just zonal marking. It's a complete utter mess. Wolves had one corner against us. One. And they scored from it. 60 whatever minutes it was in it. It's, it was just... And you knew it was going in. It's like hockey, man. It's penalty corners. And that's what's costing us, Mikey. We Even if we get in front, you always feel like we're a corner away from conceding. Or a mistake. But I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. You got another question, by the way, from Crypto with the four ninety nine. Thank you, Crypto. Mikey, wait, no, I've already asked that one. It's this next Let's one. Have, Sorry. I've answered that one. Yeah, Mikey. I know these questions are relevant, but the WKD demands an answer. Do you rate Czech Kiate and Alex Mites? <laughs> he's not. He's not even going to know Mites is. is he? Do you have Mites? You see that young lad that you got that's paid about, I don't know. Yeah, he's gone on loan. He went on loan to Sheffield Wednesday last season. I don't even know where he is now. I think he scored against Swansea in the championship. He's pacey, but he's crap. <laughs> but well, do, do you rate Czech Kiate? Go with him. Kiate, uh, do you know what I used to like about Kiate? I haven't really seen it for Forest, but he was at Palace, wasn't he, before? He always yeah. had legs. Like you always yeah. would keep going, he'd run, he'd he'd he'd, he'd be like that engine room. Um I haven't seen it for Forest, so I, I wouldn't want to judge him. But if if the fact that he's saying that makes me think he might be shit. Yeah, he's got no legs. His legs have gone. When he plays, he plays well for five minutes and then he tanks. Yeah. He tanks. Yeah. All right, Mikey, listen. <clears throat> Look, normally we do score predictions and shit, yeah. But we're in agreement, aren't we? We've done it. We're in agreement. But you've got the one I'm worried. Well, the one that interests me is you got Luton coming up. Is it two games after? You got Liverpool midweek. Then is it Brentford after that? And then Luton? Mate, you you need to uh, it sounds awful, but you need to take us out of the equation of going down. You're that confident. It's so let's let's take your game out of it, okay? Okay. So the other five fixtures we've got yeah. is Arsenal and Liverpool, which we're Second not winning. Up. Yeah, but then we've got Luton, Brentford, and Sheffield United. Yeah, but you got Luton away, yeah. Which I'm more confident about because you play better away from home. Okay, so we beat Sheffield United at home, free win. Yeah, we probably get a point against Luton. Okay, four. I think we get a point against you. Five. And I, I think that's, I think I think I actually think that's enough to stay up this season. Yeah. So that would put you. What are you calling then? How many points? Is that thirty-two? Five. What are you on now? Let me check. You're on one. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So you think thirty-two is enough? Mm -hmm. And if well. we win one of them games, then we're definitely. You know, if we. You know, look. If if we beat you on Sunday, we're definitely up. If we beat. Luton, we're definitely. I just, 
I just don't think I don't think we I don't think we'll lose any of those games apart from Arsenal and Liverpool, where we will lose heavily. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but the Arsenal one's last game of the season, isn't it? So you'd like yeah. to think you're safe by then. Yeah, I mean we went we went there le- last season and we lost four nil. And uh, and the and at the end of last no, the season before, we went to Man City away, which is kind of similar. And we lost 5 0. So I'm expecting 6 0. 7 Rather Chelsea. <laughs> but who cares if you're safe at that stage, right? Who cares? And and yeah. the, the wild card is Liverpool because Liverpool mm. don't appear to be playing great. Yeah, yeah. And they're going up against Sean Dyche, who will just stick literally 11 men plus a coach behind the ball. So yeah. we might get a draw out of that. It might be nil nil. Another Jackie Elka screamer, last minute kind of. To be honest, it could be Ashley Young, couldn't it? I mean, he is he's <laughs> actually he is actually younger. He is actually older than uh, than Phil Jackie Elka. Chat, yes or no? Do you think just why you're in the chat? Do you think Everton are going down? I, I get what you're saying. My only concern with you is that you are playing the teams in and around you. So if you d- just say you lost to Forest on sa- on Sunday, and then let's call it right off the Liverpool one, that puts so much pressure on. The- Is it Brentford after that or Luton? Yes. Uh, Brentford. It's Bre- that puts a lot of pressure on that Brentford one. So even going then into that Luton one, so you draw with Brentford, that's when it could get a little um, puck of your ass. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but you know what? Have you seen Luton's fixtures? Yeah. I don't. I don't think they're as bad as everyone's making them out to be. I mean, they've you... got Brentford next, then away to Wolves, then you, then away to West Ham, and then home to Fulham. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think they win any of them games. Yeah, there's a lot of ends in the chat. They seem to be buying your cocky confidence, man. And I don't blame them because I'm always <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Chat as as someone said in the chat, clip him, clip him, like just like the Luton fans did with the six nil, because he was right about that, right? <laughs> Listen, Mikey, it's it's been a it's been a minute, mate, but it's been good to have you back on. We will get beat the drop going back again, chat. They keep asking me about it. My, Mike will tell you, we've asked so many times in the group chat, but someone can't make one night, someone can't, and the other just becomes yeah. all the celebs. But we will get maybe a beat the drop special going on. But yeah, mate, um, make sure you are subscribed to his channel. Not just for him, as much as I love Mike, right? Him and John, when they get going after a loss on Everton, I, I have my notifications on specifically for Everton losses, and I'm there just refreshing my feed, waiting for their uh, their thing. Because, and I love that he calls you Michael. I don't know why. I just love that he calls you Michael. It's because he goes moody with me when he knows <laughs> he, he he does lose it to our John. Um, we we were a bit like I was trying to describe. Somebody was saying to me, "What are you and John like?" And I went like, "We're an we're an OnlyFans version of Anton Deck." <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. Who's that? His deck. He's he's deck. No, he's Ant. Your deck. One of us has got a massive forehead, so I mean, um... you could both be. You could both be. We got another four ninety nine from Crypto saying, "In all seriousness, the reason I super chat is because I the amount of content that these guys do and the hours of entertainment it gives everyone. Honestly, this has been one of the most fun previews, obviously, because we're doing it with a good mate. Um, we're doing one on Mike's channel tomorrow. So if you want some extra content, what time are you putting that out, Mike? We're doing we're recording. It will be out at evening. seven. At seven. So if but you want to check recorded out... at four. So if you want to know what me and Wolfie are doing at like 10 past four. We're getting fruity on Blue Boys. Only fans, baby. Only fans content right there. So make sure you check that out. Tomorrow we'll have we'll have my preview. We've got the Predictor League and we got Grumpy Old Reds at about eight o'clock as well. So plenty of content to keep you busy. Mikey, it's been a pleasure. The chat love you. I love you. And uh yeah, let's both stay up and uh, screw Luton, is what I say. Only fan style. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Come on, you Reds.